Welcome to Apochromatic. My name is Logan. I am here to introduce us all. We are playing Court of Blades, uh, which is from a couple of Drakes. It's a fun little game where we're going to have a bunch of intrigue, a lot of, I guess, what I think is at some point someone said sexy man time. So we'll see what that's all about. Uh, but I am playing the fantastic Vincent. He is a hawk for anyone who's interested in that. My name is Logan. I didn't introduce myself. I'm bad at this. Why did you all nominate me? But <laughs> my name is Logan. I'm playing Vincent. Both of us are he, him. Uh, and, and I'm going to hand this off so we can introduce the rest of the cast. Go ahead and start us off. Max, can you start us off? I can start it up. I can start us off. Uh, my name well, is I started, Max. Please. Oh, well, you, okay. Well, I will continue the trend. Uh, my name is Max. I use he, they pronouns. Uh, very excited to be playing this game. Uh, I will be playing Briar. He is a Bravo and he uses he, him pronouns. Uh, and now I will throw it to Taylor. Hello, I am Taylor. Uh, at underscore potato underscore on the internet. And uh, I am super excited today to be a absolute chaos menace. I can only imagine. I am playing uh, a, a, oh, shit, what's it called? The Kuth. <laughs> I remember in my playbook. Uh, names <laughs> named Bats. Both of us are she, her. So, should be a blast. I'll throw it to Leon. Oh, that's me. Hello. My name is Leona. You can find me on Twitter at the Leona Maple. Uh, today I am playing uh, Vidya Almari, uh, aka Sparrow. Um, she is uh, the key playbook, uh, and we both use she, her pronouns, and we're very excited to, to be here. And then and Logan. Hi, everybody. Not Logan. Well, Logan already went. Like, Logan well, and I are both <laughs> brown. We don't look that much alike. Just because um, we both happen to be <laughs> black, adopted, I mean, come no. on. Logan no, is no, no. Logan, 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 Logan but as the GM <laughs> is called the Logan now? Yeah, I am not the Logan. I am the storyteller in charge of this disaster piece. Um, and Disaster like, piece? <laughs> when did it start? How do you know it's a disaster piece? You just confused me and Logan. I... Um, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Is You're fine. It'll just be a running theme for the next few hours. It's all good. Oh, so for everybody who's unaware, Court of Blades is a setting that is, uh, I was about to say Powered by Apocalypse, but it's completely wrong. It is forged in the dark system in a setting that involves a city named Ilrian, uh, where they play the great game and many great houses fight over who gets to be the prince. The prince in the setting is a gender neutral title for whoever's in charge. Um, and there are six great houses. The player characters are playing uh, House Alamar, which is a mercenary, mm, mercenary seafaring, proto piratey, privateering merchant, all rolled into one class. They're the outlander, outsider house that just kind of rolled up into this society. And uh, our lovely, our lovely cast of characters and our pro tag coons here are. Uh, playing uh sort of start from the bottom so house uh, almiar is uh t the lowest tier they're the new guys on the totem pole start from they, the they have much to accomplish mm -hmm. new kids on the yeah. black yeah they're, they're they're doing that right now our house on the top and we'll we introduced all these houses throughout the play including the rival house to our lovely cast of player characters but uh but our house on the top right now the the rulers of practice I almost said Praxis, which is, you know, a different term from a different game. But the rulers of the princedom, the winners, the winning people of the great game at this juncture are uh, House, I believe it's pronounced, what, what do we agree on, Max Bataillon? Are I you saying it Battalia? overly so? Battalia? Yeah. That's like, what I there's, think uh, You good. pronounce it French or Italian or Spanish. It's it's all European sounding titles. So if, they, if the people from, you know who made this game show up and tell us we're wrong. They can totally let us know how badly we butcher these <laughs> pronunciations. Uh, house Battalion, who is a militant house, is currently on top. And they've been on top for a while now. They've been on top so long that we're going to start off our escapades with them throwing a big festival. A festival that um, deals with them having a great deal of festival games. And something that happens in this particular setting is you basically are taking snapshots of the players while they're playing through certain events, and then we'll move the clocks forward. This one is uh, early, uh, late spring, be summer soon, 
and they're hold, hold, housing a like festival in the area called the Vine, which has, surprise, surprise, a giant vineyard and the granaries in it. And they've put up several um, tents and other things such around. And there's martial items as well as food for sales here at the Vine, this, uh, this fine evening. Um, and our players, as they, um, as they decide what they're going to do, get to pick some goals to try to achieve during this set of sessions. Um, and they usually it's from a list of six, but this time it's a list of five because while well, they're at the bottom, they don't have anybody to make amends with yet because they haven't, they haven't pissed off anybody. They haven't stepped on anybody's neck to get further up the totem pole. Um, and do we want to go over the things that were kind of chosen to, to, uh, or look or can be chosen from to look at? Yes, please. In this scenario? Beep, beep, beep. You want me to read those off again for everyone? I mean, if you have it handy, otherwise I have to hunt through the I book. have it. I, if it's the ones that you oh. sent on the Discord, I have uh, it. Up. They are, Max. I, yeah. I, I, I do have them. I, I I can read them. I guess saying that was a volunteer. You want to read them? Okay. Is a <laughs> um, no, okay. So the first thing, the first thing was a uh, primary goal, conscript a noble ally. You pick which house you want as an ally. Secondary goal, win renowned for the house, acquire and uh, acquire new resources for the house. Uh, something mm -hmm. arising. One or the other, so you have a choice. Yeah. Oh, okay. You have a choice between win renown or or acquire a new resource. Okay. So uh, you guys can figure out which one of those two things you want to do. Something arising, broker peace between two different street gangs. Something personal, look into the plans of your enemies slash rivals. Thwarting a rival stop the plans of house level and yeah we only mm -hmm. have five because there's nobody to make amends with yet mm -hmm. now now that our players know what's going on let's set the scene more in character so our lovely ragtag band of a coterie here have one connecting thread and that is their npc uncle omar alamar who has summoned them all for particular reasons before the start of the festival. Um, Max, how about you tell us your character's relationship to uh, Uncle Omar? Uh, so uh, Briar, before he was in uh, House Omari, he was uh, he was a solier, which is uh, a prominent academic family line uh, within Ilrian. And he supposes he still is one, by birth, but not really by association anymore. Um, he spent a lot of time in um, academia and in libraries and kind of trying to do things that his brain wasn't necessarily wired for. Um, he eventually kind of uh, met Uncle Omar when he was really down on his luck and trying to figure out what to do with himself. Uh, and when he saw the potential prowess that he had uh, as a budding swordsman, he helped train him up to the Bravo that he is now. And there you go. So, of course, uh, Uncle Omar uh, calls in his, his proto-adopted blade, not even for hire, just the blade that he's adopted into his line. And before you also see his lovely niece, and I will let uh, Leona describe the family affair. Oh boy, that's me. That's Vidya. Uh, Vidya Elmer, aka Sparrow, um, is it is I the key. Um, her look is inquisitive, and her background is academic. Um, she uh, very much thinks that Uncle Omar is relatively chill. <laughs> She's been told otherwise by other people uh, in her family mm -hmm. who don't like the fact that she hangs out with Uncle Omar. Um, they're, they're always just like, that's not a good idea. Like, like, sure, he seems okay now, but he was not like, no. And she's just like, well, he's, he's, he's fine with me, so I, can, I don't, whatever. Um, and uh, so she's just kind of kind of vibing, I think, when Briar walks in like she's just kind of doing doing her own thing um i will say fun fact about vidya is uh uh 
uh, she's got this little thing in her playbook called uh, I know this tune and I can always, which means I can always tell when someone is lying to me. So she never really like needs to have her guard up because she can always tell when someone's lying to her anyway. So she's just vibing. Mm -hmm. um, and through the servant's entrance, because, you know, some people like to sneak because they're not exactly the most sociable individuals, along with some of the servants and probably taking a glass off of the several glasses that are being brought into the room. I'm barely sure, Taylor, you will probably be joining us as well. Would you like to discuss your relationship with the good uncle? Yeah, yeah. Um Definitely a uh, nail on the head there as probably a bottle of nice brandy is being stuffed down like the front of her shirt and hidden. Um, but yeah, so Babs is just the relationship with Omar. I don't think she will refer as Uncle Omar as so many do. Uh, likes to keep her bosses at arm's length just in case. Uh, though he has been probably the most beneficial to uh, relationships she's had in a while. Um, and is, is definitely a little bit more on guard, though trusting, as she still lives in the streets like she is still has connection to where she grew up she was a orphan in this little dock area and you know is working her way up but isn't quite sure about this whole like uppity fancy people stuff yet likes the brandy not sure about the politics but she's along for the ride <laughs> and so i think that's very much the attitude coming in is just like another job maybe some more money maybe something cool will happen Mm -hmm. Sneaks her way in. Probably and, does and say we'll... hello to absolutely everyone in the kitchen. Like, ah, does know mm -hmm. everybody by name. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. Making friends and influencing the right people. The staff. Yeah, I don't want them to tell on me stealing brandy and stuff. We're buddies. <laughs> mm -hmm. and, and last but definitely not least, Logan, how does our hawk respond to the summons for uh, employment from Uncle Omar? Uh, Vincent is a known bounty hunter within the city so anytime he's summoned he assumes it's a job and vincent is um he really gets into his work he absolutely lets it control his life in ways that is unfortunately um destructive um it actually has ruined relationships for him so this summons has actually like He's coming in hot, just running in. He doesn't care who's in his way. He doesn't wait for someone to introduce him. And he's just like, what's the job? What's next? What's going on? He looks her like hurried. He looks intense. He sees everyone in the room with his one eye, just like constantly like, okay, who's there? Who's there? Who's there? Who's there? I don't know any of these people. Where's Omar? And that's kind of how he's approaching this. Like, where? who am I hunting? Where are they? What is my next job? There we go. As the four of you kind of in, in, are, are in the din area, Omar comes in. Uh, Omar is in his legitimately probably in his like early to mid 50s, but he looks about a decade younger. He's in very good shape. He, he's got not full blown like Tom Cruise. I do my own stunts energy, but he definitely has like. I am a little out there energy and like gives a peck on the cheek to some woman you've never all seen before as he comes in and like kind of a loose flowing robe and like house pants and house shoes. Um, he picks up like a glass of, like he picks up like a glass of like a uh, brandy that was been brought forth and his cocks it looking at the, the lack of the bottle on the tray and then looks over to Babs and just kind of smirks and then drinks his brandy. Um, like he knows, um, this is why I love him. But, like, what an entrance! What an entrance! <laughs> um, and kind of like flops down on a sitting couch, like just straight, like just doesn't spill a drop of alcohol, but does a flop, like a full blown flop. Like everybody, sit, make yourselves at home, get comfy. We have things to talk about. Hi, also, oh my, hello, sweetie. Also. Do you all know each other, or do I don't know if I've introduced everyone before? I know you two know each other. Oh, we know. Pointing at our Bravo and our key. 
Oh, what do you but mean? I've never know. met this woman before in my life. What do you and mean? He, I've never met this no, woman he's grinning. I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure I've introduced you like that one time, at that one dance. I'm only kidding, Uncle. <laughs> okay, I was fairly sure. I, I'm, I, I'm, you, I am not on anything <laughs> that hard right now, so I assume I, my memory is semi-correct. Uh, yeah, no, the, 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 that's only the person that you like told to be my date, basically everywhere. I did you not know. tell. Kinda, I just suggested kinda... in a firm tone. It's completely suggested. different. I think we looked convincing enough. I do. Agree. I think you two did wonderful. Mm -hmm. uh, but yes, I'm just giving that, a like have... knowing smile over at uh, Vince. Like... Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm. I'm eyeing up Babs, like up and down, just like. Mm -hmm. You can tell I know, like I am like suspicious and on edge, looking at Babs the whole time, just like. Mm, yes. You watch I'm, as I stick a straw down the front of my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's just that's just strange. I'm not the I'm, okay. I'm gonna I never break eye contact either. <laughs> Which eye do you stare? At? Well, of course, there's only one eye to stare into. Yeah. So. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, um, I, are you two going to fight, or are you two going to the other thing? I mean, <laughs> you, you can do that here now. I'm not going to say no, but that remains have, like, to be seen. You are the all-seeing one, Vincent. Um, which reminds me, you don't have to swivel your head. No one's going to hurt you here. Relax. Have a drink. <laughs> I just want to know why I'm here. Because uh, I have an extended contract for you, because I'm forming a new group to do things for me. I wasn't going to just jump right into business. I figure everybody could get friendly, introduce themselves, shake hands, curtsy. My name uh, is Vincent. Could... I hunt people for a living. Nice to meet you all. Hi, Vincent. You are. Niece, dear, you're going to probably have to do lots of talky-talky for the Vincent. He's he's a great finder of things and shooter of people, but not so much with the verbal jabber. Yeah. As you said, I'm a great shooter of people. I pull out my pistol and I start spinning it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mm -hmm. I holster it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's what I do. Yeah. I find people. Mm -hmm. I usually shoot them. They usually stop moving. Usually. And if not, I shoot them again. In that order? I said usually. She's easy. <laughs> she's she's easy. Like it's just, she's she's absolutely sassing you just for the hell of it. And Vincent doesn't take sass well, not like he's aggressive about it. He just he doesn't understand it. Oh like, what, what are you... Aww. Mm -hmm. I love it. Yes. Well, I'm relatively familiar with everyone. Hello again. Mm -hmm. This is Bab. She is a knower of things on important levels of people that we don't always are known to be seen associating with. But you should always have your ear to the ground, and Babs is very good at that. How are you, Babs? You doing all right? Honestly, yeah. I've had a, had a pretty, pretty uh, stand-up week, I think. Good. I'm For glad. once. Mm-hmm. Happy to hear. Is so, that is that the truth, or is that like? I mean, you know, it's kind of like that. I'm just living. Answer. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Fair <laughs> like, enough. It's all right. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> I am now speaking for our house inside the city. Responsibility falls into my lap, like all things in life. So I have to start getting new retinues together to making sure our house's agenda is fulfilled in the city and the great game is played. And as much as I enjoy playing the great game, playing by yourself is always boring. Hmm. The hunt's boring one is just you. Sure. I, I don't really hunt people. Well, this could also be a metaphorical hunt. Um, you know, I don't always. Oh, excellent. I'm happy we're moving to mind of metaphors, Vincent. That... I just am like my job. Excuse me for being passionate. No one's mad that you're passionate. You're just single minded, which is so good sometimes. And in this moment, I need you to expand your horizons. Hmm. I need you to look. I need you to, I need you to take it all in and I need you to look at the big picture. That's all I do is look at things. It's all okay, I do. Okay, so and what is 
the big picture then? The big picture right now is I found out that house level has set their sights on keeping us down at the bottom and we wanted to get rid of that. But also with the festival coming up, with the Prince's Festival coming up, there'll be lots of opportunities for us to possibly make new allegiances as well as impress. Um, and when he says impress, he looks right at you, Max. And um, I think Briar like looks to see if there's like someone behind <laughs> and then <laughs> looks back at Uncle Omar. There'll be lots of, because of the prince's house, there'll be lots of little martial games to show off skills. So uh, you might find yourself with the ability to to wow some people, as well as Vincent, if there's a thing with the shooting and the bang bang. Um, I'm sure you can put holes in targets as well as you can people, right? Um, yeah, that's... Okay. You don't just hunt the most dangerous game? I'm making sure. I hunt all game at all times. Like right now, what are you hunting? Right now, I'm hunting for my paycheck. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I didn't realize that was a game. Hopefully, it, these it's the most important these, game. It's life's game. Really? We need to get you to a place where money is not that important to you. Um, it was once. Does he stare off in the distance? Do you have exactly. a flashback right now? Yes, exactly. Do we need to I'm... discuss your tortured past right now? Go for it. I mean, go. we could go into it now. That is how flashbacks can... work in this game. Oh, Maybe okay. Just, I like, did... Sitting here, like, sipping her drink bemusedly, uh, <laughs> watching all of this go down. So I guess if, if we're going to do a flashback, I mean, effectively... Um, I'm new to the system, so please forgive me. Flashbacks is usually used to fix like a uh, the thing. Like if you guys are doing something, you got a flashback oh. to have done something to do it. But like if you want to flashback to your tragic past, I'm not going to stop you from tra flashbacking to okay. your tragic backstory. Sure, I'll take up some of the the narrative uh, load and I'll do a quick flashback scene. Um, there you go. So, as Vincent kind of for a moment goes back to. When he had two eyes, and dun, dun, dun. <laughs> a twist. <laughs> what the what twist? twist? Uh, oh. And probably like ten years ago, Vincent is in his like late thirties, so early thirties for him. Um, well, late twenties, and we see a happy home. We see a home that ha is attached to a bakery, and we see a couple laughing. You can hear joy in this house. You hear music coming from some corner. And then we hear a bang. And then we're back to Vincent, back in the scene here. Yep. Back to Vincent One Eye. Um, I was happy once. Yeah. Well, you'll have to tell us that story sometime. Um, but yes, no, yes, the pain will be ongoing and fairly well if you achieve what I need you to achieve. We are looking for putting an end to some of our rival situations. We're looking at either making a great first impression to the prince's house, and we're looking to collect some allies at the forefront. If we can also keep our ear to the ground on other things, if we find out something is afoot or amiss, then make ourselves look good, that would be excellent. But I can leave all that in your hands. I have some other meetings to attend to. I have to actually put on more clothes and go be nice to people I don't like. Um, I'm so deeply sorry, and that is not sarcasm. I know a lot of the times what I say does not sound genuine, but I am sorry. Yeah, it's so annoying. It's so very annoying. It's not like I can handle them like I did long ago, but that's not the point. Do you have any questions before I have to go get gussied up? So Who we're are just you? going playing games <laughs> just up to Attend us them. on how we do these things? Well, yeah, I'm putting you all together to handle it. I mean, you're four capable individuals. I assume you can all be capable together. Am I wrong in that assumption? No, I'm just wondering if you're agreeing to my usual means of doing work inside of a princely place. Sure. Just don't keep in mind you'll be working under the house, not me personally, so you can't make a fool of us because that becomes problematic. So you might have to be slightly nicer than you're used to, but I'll triple the pay. Amen. 
so I shouldn't just shoot people. Follow Briar's lead on who to shoot. I can do that. Is there anyone that you are looking to ally with? The higher up in the great game they are, the better. There's no one in particular that stands out. Unfortunately, we're at the bottom right now, so any alliance is a good alliance, shall we say. House Lavelle, perhaps? I don't no, think they're... they'll ally with us. <laughs> Not fans of ours. Never mind. Mm -hmm. I don't think they'll ally in any general vicinity with us. You would. You do want to keep an eye on any plans they have for us and see if you can thwart them. I don't know that word. Thwart. Thwart. Um, thwart. Thwart. Mm -hmm. But no. But no, Vincent. Briar. Briar has a pretty good eye on who to shoot or stab. So fair enough. Maybe follow Briar's lead with the shooting. Okay, kid. Between the two of us, Point we have three. Shoot. Eyes. <laughs> You know what? You're absolutely right. You tell me where to shoot, kid, and I'll shoot. Um, are you familiar with um, a bow and arrow, or do you just use your uh, gunpowder device? I, I'm familiar with. I'm a little bit more comfortable with Is, this. Do, I, I think I, think I only say because when they do martial games, part? there are often contests. No, this looks like the getting to know you part. So I'm going to go change and have to go be nice. Later, darlings. And he'll just stand up and walk out, leaving you all to get to know each other in the room. Hmm. Uh, immediately, Vincent looks at Babs, just goes like, just pointing. I have my eye on you. <laughs> Why? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Seems a bit bold. She knows what she did. I do like okay, that. Most of them he doesn't approve of. <laughs> I listen, Babs. I don't mind whatever you do as long as you don't get into too much trouble. I did bring you into the Elmire after all. You're good at making it not look like I'm the one that caused the trouble, so. That's fine then. Mm hmm. So, so, yeah, go on. You first. Well, I was just going to say, I think it's, we, we have our mission. Does anyone have any insight of where we should go? Because my first thought is maybe we go to this festival and find some folks from Bastion. They are the next people on the totem pole below us and most likely to ally with us. Don't you think? I don't think that's a bad idea at all. Um, two houses to climb together and have a better chance than one. I have no objection. I'm following your lead on that. Well, Briar, I've been told to listen to you so I don't just shoot randomly. Lead us. Lead us Please. like... Do I need to like give a speech right now, or like should we all go change? I... Are we taking a cart? I, I I could care less. If you want to give a speech, that's fine with me. I, I only really have one outfit at this point. Okay, so Omar would put us together for a reason. Um, he did appear slightly less drunk than usual at this hour. Uh, That's oh, true. Yeah. That's true. Oh, yeah. Um, so he's <laughs> he's clearly on top of it today. Um, I say I know. we waltz in. We keep a watchful eye at the beginning. I'll take care of the, the Marshall games. Uh, and if if there's a shooting contest, you can shoot. Perhaps there will be dancing. All of those normal, fancy, 
sometimes annoying, but mostly fun things. Um, we keep an eye out for, uh, for level. We keep an eye out for Bastion and see if we can make friends. Do you also raid the closet and get some new clothes too? Or do you guys just wear what you got on your backs? Oh, I'm going to dress up. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I am. I'm, I'm, I'm going to need like armor if I'm going to if I'm gonna go. Mm-hmm. Uh, just like I look down at what I'm wearing and look back like... So you can get armor down at the cellar, down in like the armory cellar part of the household. But if you guys are asking about clothes, you'll find that Omar has basically put aside like an armoire. And when you open it up, there's several styles of dress with like the house crest and house colors emblazoned in them that are already fitted for you guys in several different styles. So it's kind of a question of what do you want to wear to a degree. But you you are effectively flying house colors when you show up at the festival at this point in time, if you would like. Coming and looking cohesive is something that would be good for us socially. People will find it um, both intimidating and impressive. Mm-hmm. Oh, so. come on, Vincent. You're not excited to play dress up. I don't, I just, I don't really like my cloak. I don't want to wear anything else. I mean, can we get, can we, we get the cloak like a, with it? do we have a pin, do we have like one of those like little, uh, the thing, the, the pins that hold the cloak? With the house crest. A clasp. Of clasp. Yeah. There's a clasp in there. Yeah, I'm sure there's a clasp in there. There's also like I a pulled cloak it out of my bag. <laughs> <laughs> yes. He's like I'll totally not looking at where it comes from. It just goes into his hand and he starts to tr- like pin it onto uh, your cloak. Hmm. Beautiful. What what is the what does the emblem look like? Did they ever describe it? Or do we there's a picture it? in the book? There's a picture in the book. It's a tower, if I Mm -hmm. remember correctly. It is. I believe you are correct. I'm double checking right now. Also, the houses don't come with colors. I have been making my characters like clothing color, like a like a dark bluish thing, but that can also be his family's color. But if you guys are blue people, then we can I mean, I more meant colors in the in the gang sense of you guys are all wearing house insignias to denote your loyalty. Oh. But we can have color colors too if you want to have color colors. Well, I would assume mm-hmm. since we're very we're we're um, naval in certain aspects, mm-hmm. grays and blues and maybe purples. Mm-hmm. Probably correct. Mm-hmm. That's great because I'm doing my line work in blue right now, and it would have been really annoying to change it. <laughs> <laughs> Winning. That's how it all fits together. All right, so. How so? I believe you get some armor and some crest up. How does everybody dress up? We'll start with uh, we'll start with Taylor. How does how does Babs uh, change their attire? Yeah, yeah. Um, I think that she puts on a pretty sensible like pair of trousers, a nice like shirt with like a little vest, but then a skirt over it that's kind of like tear away. You know, if she needs like costume shit, she's not going to be hampered by a big skirt, but she's going to look nice when she's standing there. Like one of the like mm-hmm. those, you know, those really cute ones where it's like you can still see the pants legs and it's like bigger on the sides. That's what mm-hmm. she's got going on. Fair enough. Mm-hmm. Uh, Leona, how does our how does our key dress? Ooh, uh, I think she's she's kind of kind of yeah, definitely definitely on the on the more ladylike side. Definitely also a dress a dress and a cloak type vibe. Um, I don't think hers tears away. But I think she has some other <laughs> ingenious way of making it very practical if she's about to get into shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, I feel like I complained at one point in time to Uncle Omar, and I was like, I need tearaway clothes, please. Mm-hmm. There you go. I'm sure she'll wear tearaway clothing at some point, but for now, she's like, no, like, for, for right now, I'm okay. Uh, for now, we're good. For now, mm-hmm. like, listen, hers might not be tearaway, but it's like she's probably got some sort of contraption where it can, like, Turn into a fucking mini skirt or something. Like, how should I know? Yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's got some quick kind of wet, like ribbon yep. pulls. Quick change. Where it, yep. Like, hikes yep. It up. yep. 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 Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, just two, just two ribbons on like the hems where she pulls it up, and all of a sudden it gives her this lovely like pleated like high low vibe. Just boom, done. Yeah. They all they have those things that people use at the Ren Fair a lot, where your skirt can like wrap up into it. It's like oh, a loop yeah. that you put on. You, like you can attach them to your belt. I don't know what they're called, though. I love it. There you go. 
Uh, Vincent, uh, other than the class, other than the cloak clasp, is um, that it? You just like I have a new clasp. It's baller. Um, <laughs> so yes, the clasp. Um, he goes through the closet just to see if there's anything else, and he sees affectionately placed there by Uncle Omar a new eye patch that has on the eye the actual insignia as well. Sure. Yes. So he's like, okay, uh, no one look at me real quick, and I turn around and you know fumble around, put Aww. on the new. He eye doesn't patch. want everybody to see his cat scratches yet. Oh. Um, that, if that's what you think is behind there, at some point I might tell you what's behind there. I assume um, it's Nick Fury cat scratches. I'm just saying. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, outside of that, he's, I mean, he's wearing something similar to what I'm wearing now, which is like a knit sweater that's like keeps him warm because it's, it is cold by the docks. Um, he wears very sensible clothing. So it's just having the insignia very prominent on his face in this form is really handy. And then the clasp is also handy. So. And last but not least, Briar, who is our, our now pro tag coon esque leader, almost kind of sorta. Uh, okay, you're I, in charge of the sociopathic rabble at this point in time. Great. I I think that uh, when he dresses, uh, you can kind of see uh, like whatever part like that like that Omar saw of himself in, in Briar is a little bit obvious. Uh, his shirt is very loose. His pants are very tight. There are a lot of belts. Some of them are for utility. Like there's a very sturdy one that has like his um his sword, his sword sheaths and um uh for his uh, coin purse. And there are some that are kind of just like there to be there. Um uh, beyond that, he has armor which he will not like fully put on until it's necessary. We can just like shoulder that in a bag or something. Um, but he mm -hmm. he will uh, don the the chest piece over his shirt, and um, Briar's hair is really is really long. It's a lot longer than mine. It probably goes down to like his rib cage, and he ties it in like the top half of it, like up and out of his face. All right. Well, there you go. So, all right. Um, and then we're just gonna head down to the vine to to the tents. And the other things, we're we gonna pick up some food along the way, or are we just heading down there? I'm assuming food's there. I feel like we should go there hungry. There is food there. Yeah. Okay. Maybe you know hungry, but not the, thirsty. I, I, Bab strikes me as that person who goes to the kitchen and always snacks. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I think while everyone was getting dressed, uh, she had snuck away multiple times and has like essentially a charcuterie board stuffed in her pockets, Ooh. and it's just like ready to go. <laughs> It was well, like and cured meats. <laughs> Please tell me you're gonna share because I would love some. Mm. It probably like for the most part, it is surprising when I'm like drinking brandy out of my shirt and like pulling crackers out of my pocket, except for your character, as I just like saddle up next and I have like one pocket dedicated for like your snacking purposes. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. As casually as I make it has, and grab a snack, I'm like, thank you. It has many a date in it. Um, mm. Ooh, I love a good mm. date. Me too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the there fruit and the activity. All right. <laughs> Vincent mm -hmm. just subsides on nothing but jerky. It's horrible for him. So much salt. Jer jerky and spite. Yes. Um, and <laughs> like, funny thing is actually just nothing wrong with the eye. It just went bad due to high <laughs> blood pressure. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> um, oh dear. But yeah, um, but yeah, this, this is what half the game is going to be tropes about what's really under the eye patch. Um, but yes, so as you make your way there, it's fairly warm. It's nice day out. People are arguably frolicky. Like um, the city guard under the current prince's watch has been reinforced a bit. So like, it's not like full blown police state for sure. But the police has been proto militarized, not like full blown militarized. Um, but we are dealing with, uh, but we are dealing with the fact that there's, there's, there's peacekeeping forces out and that's understandable because there's a festival going on, which means there are lots of extra people in town. Uh, the city only has about 125,000 people, but it's probably swelled by another four or 5,000 people thanks to the festival that's going on for these couple weeks. It's good business. People are coming to town. So there's more 
city guard about to make sure nothing gets completely out of whack. Nobody goes haywire. Um, you all make your way into into the area. Um, not no, nobody messes with you. Nobody, especially now that you're all clearly flying. You know some sort of great houses colors. And where is the first place you go as you head into the festival grounds? I think we should we should we should take a lap before we consider mm -hmm. any, indulging in any kind of activity, whether it be together or splitting up, uh, just so we can sure. see like where other people are positioned. Sure. That makes, okay. that makes sense. I'm done. I'm totally done. Mm -hmm. So it's going to take probably, I would say, 30 to 45 minutes to walk around the whole area. Are you looking for particular things while you're looking in this area? Because I think we're about time to make our very first roll of the game. I would be looking for anyone who's showing obvious signs of House Bastion. So, mm -hmm. I mean, we're flying our colors. I'm assuming other people are as well. Correct. So you're doing this out in the open, so we're not we're not doing that clearly. Yep. Um, so this is a study or a survey role. Hey, I have a um, I have a pip in that survey. Mm-hmm. So and I assume everybody's staying together. Nobody like skulked off to go do super sneaky sneaky stuff, right? No. I ask because you have a cooth with you. They might have they might I have do been have a sneaky. very good skulk stat too, but no. Uh, I'm I'm mm -hmm. sticking with, but I am also keeping just a, a, a survey going on the whole area, looking for um, people maybe not aligned in a house, as in I'm not aligned in the house, you know, like just workers, like assistant vibes, mm -hmm. uh, low. So you are not making man. the same. You're not making the same survey role. Correct. Okay. Yeah, I'm look. I'm lo I'm so looking that, for more. Okay. My my kind of folks. Your kind of folks sounds good. Um, Logan, mm -hmm. is anybody helping Logan giving him the assistance? I could because if you assist, he gets an extra die. And I, I want to look for something other than what the two of them are looking for. Sure, I sounds can, I good. Can, I can definitely do the help. I have a dot in study, and that feels like a very good thing to do. Sure, look around. So, so I, I believe we have a survey or study role from. from a uh, from a Vincent with a assist, so it's your pips plus one, and then I have a. What do you? What are? What is? Uh, and then we know what uh, Taylor is looking for on Babs. What is Briar looking for? Uh, I want to look in the areas where there are going to be group things. Um, mm -hmm. uh, so, like, if there's a floor for dancing, if there's an area for the martial games, stuff like that. I want to look if anything is off. Like, if there's any uh, internal like rigging or things that would affect those games and activities unfairly i want to know about it i there is not a role you need to make for that it is it is not possible to tell based upon like i will let you know that the setup does not appear to be rigged anything okay. that's going to be rigged is going to have to be done via individual people everything at least for the like festival activities appears to be on the up and up i'm not even going to make you roll that okay in that case i can assist uh, i can assist um Babs in, in her looking around. Sure. Engaging with the common folk. I have nothing against the common folk. <laughs> I think I think Briar, Briar has a, a mindset almost like I wish I was raised there. <laughs> probably. <laughs> Grass is greener situation. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Um I will say I did my survey roll and I, I'm gonna show off my die because <gasps> So I got a what'd six. You, what'd you get? That was the I was showing off my nails. rolls. Oh, that's your. I, I don't know how many dice you rolled. I don't know if you rolled. I only had. A, I only had sixes. one. I, don't know. I had one. Well, you got two because. Oh well. Do you do a d six plus then your your pips, and then if you have help, right? Is that yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's I a d six per pip. Yep. It's a d six per pip, and then it's a one additional d six because you have help. Oh, okay, okay, so you don't have like a flat normal D6 just for doing it. Okay, well then I guess a six and nope. then my other one is a three. It's harder to read that one, but. Okay, so you got a success with no complications. In, yeah, not a problem. And then, okay, I'm sorry. What am I, what am I trying to get? It's been a long time since I've played a Blades. <laughs> You're totally fine. We'll go over Blades mm -hmm. rules real quick for everybody. So 
if you have zero pips in anything, you roll two dice and take the crappier of the two rolls. That's right. If okay. you have a pip, you roll a die. If that die rolls on a one through a three, you fail and something bad happens to you. If it's a four or a five, you succeed with partial success. If it's a six, you succeed with no complications. If it is a two sixes, you critically succeed. And you take the highest die when you're rolling multiple. Correct. Well, then my highest die is a five. Your highest die is a five. All right. So you succeed, but there's a little bit of a complication. And it's not a big complication because you guys are surveying around. Um, I'm going to say, actually, I like this complication because it's a complication that leads to fun role play. You and Briar are talking to some uh, regular folk and like getting the lay of the land through your survey skills. And one of the house, one of your rival houses, folks, uh, legitimately like Briar's like off and got their back turned to you. And they see that you're now flying House of Lamar colors. And it's yeah. two, uh, two probably like late teens, early 20s uh, merchant boys roll up on you. And they're like, oh, they're just letting anybody into House of Lamar now, huh? It's clearly two house level like assholes trying to pick. Do I like of know fight. of them, or they're just being shitty because of who we are? Uh, you know they're House a rich wise. merchant family. Yeah, like they are rich. They are they are they are the money family. They're the people who buy their way through all their lives. Um, that that is especially as a street level kid, you definitely know that they are big money. Yeah, they're yeah, old yeah. money. And I know they're, they're tight money. <laughs> not even, not necessarily. Mm -hmm. They're named. You know. Yeah, not necessarily their names individually, but you know this is probably a Chad and uh... Kyle. <laughs> what? It's probably and... a Chad, and and you know uh, a freaking you know someone Ashton, with like a probably. third name. Um... <laughs> Shout out to Ashton. No, I'm their, their, their last name is also a first name, so they have three names. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they have three names. They have three first names. It's Chad, Michael, Chad. Um, it's Ashton, um, Jacob, <laughs> Ashley. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. The fourth. That hurt. Yes. <laughs> Ashton, Esquire. Jacob, Ashley, the fourth. Doesn't that just the mean that you're Esquire. a lawyer? Is it that what Esquire yes. Yes. means? Esquire means lawyer. Yes. Mm-hmm. But you know, Dad just paid for law school. They didn't oh, actually no. do yeah. anything. Paid for the degree, the college not even the school. Even in Blades. <laughs> yeah. The yeah, yeah. College scandal, of course, exists in Blaze. It's boy more about fire bribery. Mm. So that's that's what you run into while you're engaging with the common folk. They just start mocking you. This is like a situation that could go downhill. But uh, Briar has like his back to these guys, and they're just you can hear them harassing Babs. I can hear time. this. Oh, you can hear this. They're not quiet about it. Okay, I want to, um, before I make any big moves, I want to look over my shoulder and make eye contact with which one, whichever one of them looks at me first and smile in, like, a charming way. And because they are harassing her, I feel like he's trying to use, like, a psychological creep-out factor. Um, especially because the house, like, symbol is visible on his body as well. Oh, so you turn so your house your house thing is visible as well. Yeah, yeah, and I lock eyes with okay. uh, with one of them. Okay. Are you, you you want to try to make a roll to get out of the situation, or are you just trying to be just trying to make those eyes? I I I will I will do more if that doesn't seem to shake them alone. Then I will enter the situation. It, it will it will not shake them alone as this is a complication. Okay, mm -hmm. so I will um I will step over. Um, Babs, I'm gonna kind of like lean kind of an elbow on your shoulder and lean uh, in closer to these mm -hmm. um, these guys who I presumably am larger than. I hope that I'm larger than them. Uh, and uh, you're definitely better armed. Like it's mm -hmm. noticeable that like now that you've turned around that you're wearing armor and have a blade. And they're about, they've got, like, you know, the classic, like, cheese knife you wear when you're at a festival. So they're not packing heat. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't need to touch the sword. Be it being there is enough. So I, is there a problem mm -hmm. here, gentlemen? Oh, I, I don't know. Is there, they're kind of like, uh, when you kind of do this, when they see the sword, they're less, 
angsty, but they're like, oh, they're just, I didn't know your house had such low standards anymore. They're just letting anybody in these days. I'm I, pretty sure she robbed like a lady. I'm pretty sure she boosted from the lady's uh, coffers the other day. Like they're accusing her of stealing from the local faith at this point in time. That's how poor they, they're trying to make. I think uh, that the proprietors of your be. house would find it interesting to hear you um, openly committing libel at a festival meant for all. Oh, well, I'm sure if you could get around to speaking to our members of our house about it, they would. But you know. it's kind of turned into like one of those things where it's like, uh, you've played the card, fine. Like you've done the social playing the card of we'll go tell. Mm -hmm. And they'll be like, but, you know, just... I just thought your house had better standards. Like, it's kind of what they say as they walk off. I thought your house had more honor. They shoe them. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you kind of hear this. The whole time I'm just giving them this just, like, shit-eating so, grin, like, unfazed. Are, especially once uh, Briar, like, mm -hmm. put his arm on my shoulder. I'm just like, hmm. Are, are you okay? Did they, did they say anything really shitty? I only caught on a, a little bit after Honestly, not anything I'm not used to with that type. Normally, I probably would have punched him in the face, but I'm tied to our family name currently. So, uh, no, As judgment, you see, but did, like, no judgment. No judgment. Did you steal from the church, church's coffers? Oh, no. It's been like eight years probably since I've had to do that. Oh, that okay. Low. Yeah. You should find a. I need a wine. I need a glass of wine. <laughs> you can easily find that. I pulled out some brandy out of my boots again. I'm like, oh my brandy? god, that's amazing! Where did you? I to know, do that? right? <laughs> Years of practice. <laughs> and then I pull out another straw, and we've just got like two bendy straws in the top of this I very fancy brandy. <laughs> brandy, you know. It's not even like a name brand. It's like a crystal cat. Uh, a crystal. It's the, the Kirkland. The Kirkland. Mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> two with two yeah. cheap ass bendy straws at the end of it. <laughs> um, but you do find out that a lot of the common folk are talking about the fact that there is um, some 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 beefs happening. It should mm -hmm. not spill over into the festival. You basically get a lead on the uh, on on the gang situation. You, you you hear that the um the south side razors are starting to mix it up and expand their territory and this has put them at odds with the uh with the red uh with the red masks and there's kerfuffle a bruin it hasn't gone to a full ballyhoo yet so you have time to stop it but there is a kerfuffle a bruin. <laughs> the what? The a what? ballyhoo. Incredible. <laughs> kerfuffle is my favorite word. In the I just, language. I just, I have loved kerfuffle with my whole heart, but now that I know that ballyhoo exists, that has taken over. Yeah. Uh, Paul, I'm going to need you to remember that next time we have a uh, meeting over our book, because we're using both of those words. <laughs> sure, not a problem. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. My friendship with kerfuffle is over. Ballyhoo is my best <laughs> friend. <laughs> <laughs> it is not it is not turned into a full ballyhoo yet um but yes as for you are i, I will let this pass for a moment i'll, I'll let the match and the simmer let it wash over us just, let ballyhoo become part of our new identity as we enjoy so it good. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, center yourself become one with ballyhoo and let it become you are not helping <laughs> Episode one go. title, Ballyhoo. Ballyhoo. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite a Ballyhoo. Uh, Not quite. Um, <laughs> mm -hmm. yep. Ballyhoo? Uh, as for people looking for House Bastion, you find them pretty easily, actually. They have a small tent. Uh, basically, you'll find out that every other house except yours while you're looking, because you got a success with no complications or anything else like that, um, you find out that basically every other house except yours... And your house has one, but nobody's using it right now. Uh, have a tent. Okay. Uh, um, yours is the smallest because you're the smallest. You're the least powerful house right now. So you kind of are stuck behind the social documentation of you guys show up with a super garish tent. It makes things go downhill quickly. Um, but Bastion's tent is like a ways away from where your tent is. 
Uh, there's a couple of house servants at your tent. They don't even have a charcuterie board. They can't seem to find all the things to make it. Um, <laughs> I'm, I wonder what that is. I'm walking up with a cracker and I have the cheese knife like spreading brie on it. I'm like, oh, I brought my own. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They're like, we can't seem to find the charcuterie board. Before the festival. Mm-hmm. It very clearly has like the house like emblem on the handle of the cheese knife. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That would but be yeah, a good no. So, thing here, is, I feel like. Is there a reason why we have not um manned our tent appropriately? Uh, well, we were waiting for the delegation Omar said he would send to man the tent. They haven't gotten here yet. Oh. You have that realization that you're the delegation that Omar sent in this moment. Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. It hit me just just as you were saying it and I went, "Oh no." Uh, and there's just this, like, little, like, oh, God, kill me now kind of expression on her face. And she goes, ah, that would be, uh, myself. Uh, and, um, um, the rest of us, right? Yes. Um, yes, it's the four of us. Uh, we are the we, delegation. We, we, we are the delegation. It, it is the four of us. Yes. Excellent. Delegate. They, Things. they break out the appropriate drinks. They do have a fruit plate. Um, Because they can seem to find all the pieces of the fruit plate. And they have the appropriate, like, stuff, but they cannot find the charcuterie board. It was supposed to have been sent over by the house. No charcuterie board. Every time they turn around, a new sleeve of crackers has been added to the table. I'm just, like, (laughs) dumping my pockets when they're not looking. Are you slowly building the charcuterie board back? Because you realize you stole it. Yeah. I was like, ooh, that was rude. Are you having charcuterie guilt? That is amazing. I I really am. (laughs) <laughs> I do save all the brie though. That is strictly mine. Yeah, right, the brie, right. the, just the brie has gone missing, but the gorgonzola yeah. is there, and the uh, yeah, the gouda, the cheddar, all that stinky feta. It's all there. It's fine. Mm-hmm. Oh, um, there's no feta. This house doesn't deal in feta. You don't, you don't, you don't want feta on a ship. That's an awful <laughs> plan. <laughs> feta is not a. Sh- Does feta, feta have a, a pretty one. long like shelf life? Isn't it one of those? You have to keep it hydrated. Oh, that's true. You don't want that on a ship. That's awful. Sure, That's an awful sure. cheese to keep on a boat. <laughs> cheese facts with the bachromatic. Yeah. So, how how tense is Vincent looking at this time? Is he still like curmudgeon-y? Does he look a little bit lighter? <laughs> um, overall, Vince is still kind of on edge because he's not really sure what his next move is supposed to be. Uh, mm-hmm. You actually probably notice, Briar, that his eye is always kind of looking around but then goes back to you looking for the next step what is my next instruction (laughs) tell me what to do tell me who to shoot okay okay so this is is gouda with some prosciutto i just think maybe you could use a bite before we get into all of this you don't want to do it on an empty stomach here just try just try this i like Ah. sneak in a carrot stick into his hand like vegetables too would be good I'm, I'm on the charcuterie t- board. I'm lactose <laughs> and, and lactose intolerant, so um, so um, okay. There is a good goat cheese I, for you to recommend, Briar. By the way, on the shoe. I do love goat like cheese. Okay, goat I will. Cheese? I'll I take will, goat I cheese. I will do a cracker swap. <laughs> <laughs> Crack. Uh, he uh, eats it gin- excite- like gingerly, <laughs> but he accepts <laughs> it. Mm-hmm. Um, so. As as Briar is feeding Vincent, and that bromance is starting to blossom, um, <laughs> we'll bond over cheeses and, mm-hmm. and crackers. Uh, Leona, you, one of the house servants that you recognize comes up and informs you that uh, the signups for the Marshall events will open in about the next fifteen to twenty minutes. Um, has the house put forth a champion in a second? Uh, do we know what part of your entourage will be doing that? Um, I do believe, and she says it loud enough that everybody, that the rest of the team can hear. I do believe Briar and Vincent. Yes, yes. I do believe Briar and Vincent are are uh, first and, and second. Um, if, if none of you have any objections. Excellent. That, that's um, perfect. Yeah, very good. <coughs> um, the the dinner is. <laughs> Uh, the, 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 the inter-house dinners will be taking place at approximately 6.30 to 9.30. Um, are you wanting to register all of you for it, or are we only sending a smaller delegation to the, to the dinner? Oh, that's a good question, actually. 
Um, I mean, I mean, Vivia as as a character because she is the key. She's very like adept mm-hmm. in these situations. Like as soon as she walks into this tent, like she she settles into the role. You know, she takes charge yeah. and everything. Um, so she's she's totally fine with with like playing that part. Um, but I think mm, out of out of character team, how do we feel about like? Do we all want to go to the dinners? Do we just want like our more like social types to go to the dinner? I, I, I am saying out of character. Uh, Vincent is very much a fish out of water in a lot of situations, but in this situation, he wouldn't know what to do with himself outside of being around the party, and Fair. that could lead to very bad things. So I will point Let's out that, that mechanically, how this works is if you guys want to make a social role for the party. Every and it's team it's the new it's the teamwork mechanics for the system, which is everybody rolls, but your leader is the person who rolls. And then if the people who fail, you take stress equal to the number of people who fail, which means mm. your whole team doesn't fail. It just becomes more stressful for let's say Leona's character to manage your uncouth behavior in the party, is how that plays out. Got it. But if Leona's character utterly botches the role, then the whole team fails and burns and crashes and burns. So that is no what pressure. that is. Yeah. I'm That's fine. just how those no mechanics work. No biggie. Uh, I like it. Um, yeah, let's let's let's. Uh, video will say. I, I believe all of us will attempt. Excellent. The servant will 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 thank you and then go off to go do that. Um, the the second and the and the, the second and the combatant do have to go register themselves, but they are informed. Like they're basically informed on whose name to put on the sign up sheet, but they do have to actually go there themselves to sign up. You can't just sign up your champion. They actually have to be like, "Here you are. We're t- we're, we're we're getting the judges have to see you, so you can't swap people out at the last minute." Type situation. Makes sense. Well, they need to mm-hmm. they need to see your face. That makes sense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. Uh. Brian, Vincent, you will need to go and sign up in about fifteen minutes. All of the servants will, you know, of course, save your spot. Understandable. Shall we go? Yeah. Let's go Brian. handle that. Yeah. Perfect. So as they're off to go handle their situation, what do our, are you two just staying in the tent? Um, also, Vincent, did you take the time to tell them, oh no, I guess, my bad, uh, Leona's character knows where, where the Bastion folk are. I don't know if you're going to wander over there to start talking them up now or wait. I always keep, Vincent is keeping an eye out, I guess. Um, I saw them, didn't I? I like Yes, obviously. but Leona, yeah, you saw their tent, you saw their setup. And Leona mm-hmm. did assist. Leona's character did assist, so she did see it. Like she can't. Yep. She can't be giving you extra dice and be oblivious to what's going on. I don't. I don't. Yeah. Know. Okay. So <laughs> we'll split up. But uh, yeah, I. I told you. We both know where Bastion is. So mm-hmm. yes. Mm-hmm. Um. While we're online to like sign up for the competitions, I mm-hmm. think Briar is explaining to Vincent like what all of like the fancy uh, like what an oyster fork is and uh all of that stuff for the dinner <laughs> but there's no like i can't like pull up a picture of it on the phone so he's just like trying to describe them and, like drawing with nothing in the air <laughs> mm-hmm. and I, like as the response it's like okay i don't i know i i'm not approachable i understand this i know what a fork is you no, but they have explain. different forks for different occasions, and it's really annoying. I don't really understand why we can't just use any fork for anything. You know? I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you honestly. I don't know. I, I, I. This is the closest I've gotten to fancy living, and honestly, not impressed. Not impressed. <laughs> Fair enough, bud. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. So as you arrive, you will notice that effectively the signups aren't in a line. Basically, they have the, the social construct here is that the houses have a spot and, and you have like each house in the order of importance. Then you have minor houses and then you have freelancers at the end. So even though you guys are the lowest rung on the major houses scale, you're still well above all the minor houses and freelancers that are going to try to compete in this competition. Um, you, they kind of go over the reciting the rules, which is your your champion is the person who is supposed to highlight the house strengths in a chosen number of events that you feel the house is the strongest. The second is there to support them 
or and or compete in the house in the events that the house, that the house feels is weaker in, if that makes sense. So mm -hmm. if your house is claiming to be great at X th at these particular events, and the champion is supposed to do that, and the second is supposed to you know make maintain their armor, make sure they're fine on the things, and there's a total of five events. Okay. And they are. Um, I was about to go over them in a moment. The yeah. champion is expected to compete in three of them. The second is expected to compete in two of them. So okay. our five events are a duel to first blood. A joust, because that was at request of the players. A um a a shooting a, a shooting competition of black powder. Okay. Mm -hmm. A shooting competition, a classical shooting competition, which is considered in more higher regard, but is of of, of bow and arrow. And a very classic foot race, just the, the the skill of being able to get where you need to go very quickly. So what are you gonna do? Uh, uh, I, uh, I I am familiar with the equestrian. I can joust, I can I can duel to first blood. Um, I, I really think the toss up between us is who's going to run. <laughs> what a silly idea. <laughs> I mean, if, are you, are you good I, at it? I I guess I'm as good at as at it as any other swordsman is. I just think that it, like, did they not have an idea for a fifth contest? So they said we're just gonna make everybody run. It's it's yeah. a test of endurance. It's a test of it's yeah. a test of of of. Have you never been on a hunt, boy? Have you never been through the forest? Have you never Boy. felt the winds on your back as you run chasing your prey? All right, why don't you run and I'll take the bow and arrow? Oh, okay. I mean, that's fine. I, I didn't want to try that. That wasn't that wasn't a thing I was hoping to do. Uh, or were you? I, I, I don't no, just, no, it's fine. It's fine. You just seem really passionate about the wind in your hair. I don't have. I don't have hair. I have a be I have beard. I, I listen. Th that's still hair. It's just not on. So, so locally speaking, as as a side note, you do un like it, it is a foot race, but you quickly realize seeing the other people who are taking the foot race, it is like an endurance race. Mm -hmm. It is through things. It's like an obstacle course through traps, oh through other things. It's also the last event. So if you're the champion and you're competing, then you're competing in two other very martial events before you then have to like basically go through a giant obstacle course it is, it is two tennis ball launchers away from some american gladiators bullshit um, <laughs> I, uh, I just watched physical 100 for like the last month oh so, my god so yeah. Ready for this. um yeah okay mechanically i have mm -hmm. a dot in maneuver i have two dots in skirmish i have a dot in hunt mm-hmm I mean, Logan, you got anything better for for endurance run than that? I mean, I can skulk, I can wreck things. I'm really good at hunting. Um, I can command people. I don't think that's going to work in a race. <laughs> so I will. Let, enough, I will. Here's the thing: I will let wreck work in a race because I'll let wreck work in most things if you're just going to straight full bore into it. But yeah. I feel if you're going to use wreck in a race, it makes the challenge. Uh, what's the? It's the. It's the. Because usually it's considered it's like so risky. I believe is the next level up. It just means if things go bad, they go real bad because you're brute forcing the race. Oh, I you, feel like I want to do that. I want to do that. Can I do that? You can do that because basically what it means is instead of you being like I am being stealthy like the uh, swift like the wind, you're like no. If there's an. Uh, the, the, we're supposed to jump over these hurdles? No, I go through hurdles. <laughs> Some things for people who care about other things. I put my shoulder down and I go through the hurdle. I actually think that that might be a good display for the house also. If people were talking shit about just letting anybody in and then we have someone that can body the endurance race, that's impressive. Yep. Mm -hmm. that, that's why there are endurance races. Mm -hmm. uh, I love how Max gets that why there's a race, but the character doesn't. It's a great <laughs> I, I I told him that he had to be stupider than me. He could be smart in some ways, but he could not be as smart as me. <laughs> mm -hmm. There you go. All right, so you have signed up. Um, 
would you like to do anything now that you see all the competitors here in front of you? Uh, um, I'll scope them, scope them out. Yeah. Who's our competition? What do they look like? What are they Who, doing? So here's the question. Are you focusing on the general competition or are you using this to directly study your rival house's competition so it might play into another goal you have? Oh, let's let's look at the house. Let's spy. Let's let's take advantage of the situation. Okay. So I'm gonna I normally would I I I'd say study or survey, but because you're specifically targeting that house, it's gonna be a study check. Who would like to make it? I have no dots in study. Neither do I. Mm. Mm -hmm. I haven't uh, rolled yet, so I'll take the heat. If we're working I, together, can we dispel the disadvantage that comes? Uh, no, the... because uh, actually that's covered in the rules. You cannot assist. You cannot be assisted on something you have no dots in. Okay, fair enough. Um, all right, yeah, I'll take. I'll take the heat. I'll I'll roll the bullet dice and see. <laughs> Okay, there's a six and a three, so. So you take the three. So, yes, I'm very happy. I always like it when people fail things. It makes my job so much easier. <laughs> so you're eyeballing them and they straight catch you eyeballing them. And the thing that you're, the thing that threw you off and why you're surprised about why you're eyeballing them is you remember Chad from earlier? Yeah. <laughs> You Fucking swear Chad. that dude <laughs> that is the second looks just like Chad, except like 130 pounds heavier. Oh, God. Can I can I play this off just like because I am a uh, homosexual? Like I was just checking him out, like checking him out, checking him out. You can. You will take two stress rather than a complication. Yeah. Is because you go ahead. Okay. Yeah. No. That I think I think that's fine. <laughs> yeah. You'll take two stress rather than a complication. I'll totally let you play it off as you're like, I, I'm trying to get with Chad now. Uh, <laughs> but you realize that it's it's not just, it's Giga Chad. Um, uh. And <laughs> <laughs> it's Chad's older brother. Um, and you realize oh. this for sure. Chad's when, like, older brother, Chadsworth. <laughs> oh, no. Chad, uh. Chaddington. Um, <laughs> um, no, that's their father. Yeah. No, no, that's no, that's Chaddington Senior. Yeah. <laughs> this is Chaddington Junior. Oh um, my God, wait, it's like George Foreman, where all the kids are named George. Foreman. <laughs> all the yeah. kids are named Chad. Mm -hmm. uh, but you, you quickly realize that, like, he scoped you and he recognizes you. Like, maybe Chad snitched to, uh, to, to, to bigger Chad. Uh, um, okay. about this bad run in. Um, oh, so they can dish it, but they can't take it. Oh, they're Ooh. they're gonna do something. You 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 have been spotted by your rivals. You do manage to play it off like you're just checking them out. You do take the two stress for it. Um, but you are very like the, the thing you've been able to garner is that's a big Chad. Um, outside of that, they're so they didn't bring any of their armor with them. Then nobody really brought anything, so it's hard to really get a good. Other than that's a big Chad. Oh, did you say that he is the champion or he's the second? He's Same the question. second. He's the second. Okay. Mm -hmm. Who's the champion? Uh, the champion looks like a slightly, like, it's a lither individual. Um, like, they're one of those people that, like, you know how you've seen somebody who's like, I have show muscle. But then you see somebody who's like, I'm just really leanly built and all I am is work muscle. I told you mm -hmm. that I just watched Physical 100 for a month. Of course, yeah. I know. You can, I'm explaining to the audience as well. It's like the third yeah. time this week I've heard someone mention that show. I gotta watch it. I just, I like, got, I like, am so addicted to it. I won't go on that tangent now, but it was, it was yeah. really good. But yes, so like, no, they, they're, they, they're all work muscle, and they're one of those people that you're like, they're very not, not flashy, which speaks badly because they're from for flashy house. So when your champion's the quiet guy in the super flashy house, that should tell you all the signs you need. Yeah, that means that they're going to be very dangerous in that that endurance race that we talked about. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. But yes. Oh, we're separate from we're separate from Babs, uh, right now. But I'm gonna try to just like bank what that champion guy looks like to see if maybe she mm -hmm. 
might know who he is when we can confer. Sure, totally, super legit. Uh, the next thing, oh yeah, because you did study, um, you do know that, uh, that 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 Giga Chad will be in the joust. All right, let's go, Giga Chad. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> But yes, so we are all signed up for our games. We are all set up for our dinner afterwards. Let's see. We've got about 15 minutes left in the episode, so I think we get some role play in, and uh, then we'll get into lots of uh, shenanigans in the next episode, I think is the plan. So is there other things people would like to do with the rest of the evening? Because the games basically start the next day. Um, mm, okay. well, the, the is, rest of the evening aka there, 15 minutes of our game time there is the uh, I'm, I'm fading into the dark because the sun's setting uh, there is the <laughs> the uh, the other tent to, to visit there is, there, some is. Hob, there is some hobnobbing to be done here mm -hmm. there uh, is some not hobbing and some nobbing to be done maybe not you. necessarily maybe not necessarily in that order <laughs> and, and uh, no no bally what <laughs> <laughs> Not quite a ballyhoo. Not quite a ballyhoo. Okay. Just, just don't don't, don't fail that role. Why? You don't want a ballyhoo. A ballyhoo. Let's yeah. Let's 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 not do what? a ballyhoo. Mm -hmm. Just some hobnobbing. Uh, mm -hmm. but the the tent for Bastian would be a nice place for uh, I think Vidya to go. Sure. Um, Sounds great. As 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 little Miss Hobnob. Um, Legit. Um. Are, are you taking Are you taking the Babs with you? Ah uh, yes. Why not? I think. I am going with, but I want to keep some def distance from Vidya. Maybe even like sneak around like the back side of the tents as she's walking. I want to try and overhear maybe what other people are saying as they see us coming in, see who's talking to who, kind of like maybe while they're distracted at other things. I'm that sounds like, like I need a skulky. Little... Sounds like I need Lastly. to get skulky. I oh, gladly. Uh, where, where's my character sheet? Oh, yeah, it's on. Now, keep it. Um, I was going to point out before you made the roll, there are ways, more ways to get other dice. You can push yourself and take stress, or you can take the Lady's Fortune, which is basically a luck roll that gives me things I get to do later. Um, Ooh, fun. Uh, well, I got yeah. five, so I, this time I won't, and I already rolled. <laughs> but, Legit. Mm -hmm. You um, got a five. I will yeah. pull the group for a complication, because you succeed... But you totally don't succeed without a cost. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. I was also hoping to to kind of do a, do a consort role, uh, since yep. I am sort of like doing the more public approach to mm -hmm. what's what's this damn house name that I can never. I'm hoping to so I, I, maybe we can call this a help so that Taylor can roll a second die. Oh no, your consort your consort is to make all the friends. I just need to know what we want to do for right. Uh, the right. My my, thing. my argument here, though, is that because mm -hmm. I am approaching from the front to do the consort, and 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 Babs is in the back, I am the distraction. So you would like to give up your consort role to to well. to be a distraction, because that's what you're offering to me right now. Is you and are what? you are not able to actually make headway and and smoothing with them. Oh damn! Because no, that's, that's, that's not what I want. Ah, oh, damn! Yeah, yeah, okay, no. okay, I'll behave. I'll sit tight. I'll sit tight. Yeah. I'll I mean, tight. look. I tried. I I'll unfortunately tight. already have a kind of bad reputation, so I'm on whatever happens in most. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um. Mm -hmm. so we have no suggestions. No suggestions. Um, I think going once. It's never no. fun in a social scenario to run into someone who, like, e you know from like the past and you don't necessarily have bad blood with them they just like knew old you and now you're oh. new you this this comes from a trans place uh but can be applied <laughs> to many scenarios no but it's so fucking weird. yes like, there's nothing worse than meeting sounds someone from old you it is I, I listen there's nothing worse i would rather crawl in a hole please mm -hmm. but, thank you okay. max i appreciate that i appreciate I that thank you very much max <laughs> okay <laughs> I didn't so think that was that bad compared to what he may have come up with on his own. <laughs> That's probably not. So probably not. As you're skulking around the back, mm -hmm. um, you do, as you are known to do, you head through like the wait staff area and you're skulking and you're skulking. Mm -hmm. And then you totally, totally bump in to Jerry. 
You know, Jerry. <laughs> Jerry. You, you, Jerry was a fling, and then it wasn't a fling, and then it was a fling. Oh, no. And so then. Sorry, oh, honey, no, <laughs> I don't mean to do this. <laughs> oh, no. And then. I'm for falling and, then, for and, then Jerry. <laughs> and then Jerry got arrested, and you didn't visit oh, Jerry no. and lock up. Oh, um, no. <laughs> no. And then you really need to remind, then you really need to tell Jerry that Vincent isn't here because Vincent shot Jerry. So it's a oh. bit complicated <laughs> bumping into Jerry right oh, now. No. Don't worry. I, I, that happens a lot in my life. I meet a lot of people <laughs> that I once shot. So, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I do. Yeah. I apparently meet a lot of people you once shot too. Um, <laughs> Yeah, no, I clearly know that I've been seen and still sink below the nearest table. Mm -hmm. So and you sink below the table, allowing you not to overhear as much as you want. And I'm going to go <laughs> ahead and uh, get a little bit of role play in with, uh, with, with Miona before Jerry and you have a conversation at the table. Um, all right. So what are you trying to do, Key? Uh, I am trying to uh, consort. I think it's consort more than. Well, actually, I'll, I'll let you decide if it's consort or sway. But uh, since one of our primary goals is to um, make good with House Bastion so that we can have some allies, mm -hmm. uh, that is my goal. Well, if you can tell me how you're consorting, because socializing amongst friends. Do you do you know someone from House Bastion? You have a working relationship already there. You have a friend, a contact. You want to. You want to improv for me right here? Because if you can improv a contact for me right here, I will let you consort. <laughs> um, if you cannot... Oh, it should be someone that we met at that thing well, that we well, went to together. Well, hang, hang on mm -hmm. a second. Are, mm -hmm. Will you get me Sway? I mean, Sway is the go-to. Sway is the go-to? Sway go is the default. Sway is mm -hmm. better for me, so Sway it is. <laughs> All uh, right, fair enough. So, I'll take the one that you're not going to make me improv something for. I'll I will that listen. Sway. I have more pips than it, so I'm just yeah, saying. Like I have two dots in Sway, and one can sort. I will take the Sway. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yes, no. Uh, uh, Vidya wishes to to kind of um, represent House Almari, but to make good with with House Bestian, and um, I will also um, push myself, which I believe gives me one more die. It does. You can get three die out of it. I will. I will take three dice into this roll. Mm -hmm. Let me mark off my uh, two stress very quickly before I forget. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. Just so that I don't forget that. Uh, and hopefully, I can make a good impression, a good introduction, uh, since we are a a new coterie. Um. And hopefully, that means that I can I can impress them enough to talk, collaborate. Yeah. Mother of all fuckers. <laughs> that is three threes. That is three threes. I I I shit you not. All three of these dice came out of this. Have threes. betrayed you. Have betrayed me. They have are, betrayed. They are not Throw them in the garbage that's, right now. That's that's it. We're, in not the punishment using box. We're not using those. So no you more. come in to make your God grand entrance. Fucking damn it. <laughs> and when you do you totally cut off one of the high-ranking members of the house who's in the middle of giving a toast about his daughter's birthday. Oh, um, no. Causing you a giant social faux pas. Oh, she would rather... I, too, would and as again, you rather want to shrink, a hole and die. And as you want to shrink under a table, we'll go back to the table that Taylor's already shrunk. <laughs> um, oh, no. oh, God. Oh, God. So, yeah. Jerry is like... Babs. Just my eyes peek above <laughs> the table. <laughs> Why are you oh, here? Hi. Slowly saying it. Hey. Didn't see you there. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're under the table. I'm pretty hard to see under a table. Why are yeah. you back mm -hmm. here? Oh, you know, I mean, you know me. Not so comfortable with the pomp and circumstance up there so mm -hmm. figured yeah. come back here and grab something to eat pull out more and brie out of my pocket mm -hmm. that, <laughs> no it makes complete sense as you say pomp and circumstance you can hear leona's character cutting off this person um <laughs> oh no <laughs> and even you know this is bad 
Like, this is so bad. Oh, today on the day of his daughter's birthday. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> mm-hmm. oh, my God! <laughs> yep. Oh, um, please, is there, is there a mechanism that, that take, was coming? T- tailored XP mm-hmm. for that? That was great. Like, that, that, <laughs> we'll deal with that in a moment. Please, yeah. please. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, yes, I haven't seen you in, like, two years. It's good. Yeah. You see your life. Like he takes yeah. he looks you up. Do you like stand up completely? Yeah, yeah. Eventually I will finally you're, like slowly make my way back to normal height. You're 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 dressed really nice. Did you did you get a good are you running a con? Like he immediately is like, Are you running a con? I'm like, can I get in on this? Like Um Not It's not a con, but it's not not a con. Mm-hmm. I don't really fully understand how to. I got a job. Oh, okay. Doing shit for well. this guy, and I like just point to one of the seals, mm-hmm. and then I keep getting them, and so now I okay. think I'm in good with them. Okay, cool. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Meet like he's like meet me later by the bridge, uh, over to South Town, and okay. me and some of the old crew oh. can get together. And we can, like, if you can get in there, we can fucking run these guys, take everything out of their big house, put some put some of that stuff on back on the streets. You just meet me there like, at the bridge. Like this midnight. house? I point to Guy's daughter's birthday house. I mean, it sounds like you have a better in to a better house to steal from. You said the South Bridge? Yeah. You heard about this shit between the 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 the, the razors and the and the and the the red masks? Yeah, yeah, but we can. What the fuck's going on there? I'll tell you about it at midnight. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Yeah. And I think that's a great place to stop, right there. Oh, oh geez. Ah! Uh, the day of his daughter's birthday. <laughs> the day of his daughter's birthday. Uh, all right. Um, I think we yes. can do some outros. Yeah. I hope yeah. everybody had a fun time at our very first uh, very first session. Um, we're going to start Book with... Intrigue. I was going to say Leona, but the last time Leona had a chance to vocalize, things went horribly wrong. So we're going to start with Max. <laughs> that was Hello. Leona. I'm Max. <laughs> You can find me anywhere that I want you to find me on the internet at Arcane Goth. Uh, I don't know exactly when we're airing this, but you can probably find me on Fridays on Critical Misses on Twitch, playing Growing of the Dim Season 3. Yes, we survived two full seasons and decided to do a third one because we are masochists. Um, You can also find me on uh, Take Your Role, uh, doing a dual system vampires versus vampire hunters campaign, which will have an all trans and majority POC cast, um, and many other things which crowd my schedule, but those are the main ones right now. Uh, and now I will pass it to, oh God, I feel like we should go in a different order now because we started with me. Um, well, we technically started with Logan. All right, fine. We'll go back to Logan. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hi. Uh, my name is Logan, uh, also known as Logan the GM. You can find me most places on the internet at Logan the GM. Um, I am, I, again, I guess we don't know exactly when this is airing, but um, you can catch me every other Friday, other places such as, um, oh, shoot. I'm, I can't remember, and that's horrible. I'm in an Expanse game. I'll get the information for us later. I'm sorry. I'm bad at this. Um, but that's okay. I'm pretty. That's all that matters. Um, mm. the truth. That's all that matters. Pretty eye patch kids with problems. Um, Sounds like a, like a version of like a kids on bikes. Um, mm. I will certainly hand this off. But again, Logan, you can catch me at Logan the GM, and I'll hand it off to Taylor. Mm, let me unmute. Hello, uh, Taylor or at underscore potato underscore wherever I choose to be on the interwebs. Uh, you can finally find me mostly over on High Shelf Collective, where I'm the creative director, run a bunch of stuff, games, play games, do all those good things. Uh, you can also find me on 2000 Tales every single Tuesday playing Big Gay Dice Game. Uh, currently, it is Masks. It is super fun. Uh, 
and very emotional, as most Powered by the Apocalypse games end up being. And then also on Friday, uh, Monster of the Week over on 2000 Tales. Uh, and, that, and that occasionally over on Lost Caravan. Those are three places, plus here I usually bop around, so you'll find me there. Uh, let's go to Leona. Hey, hi. Uh, I'm Leona. You can find me on Twitter at the Leona Maple. That's the best place to find me. Follow me, keep up with what on earth it is that I am doing uh, and when I will be broadcasting uh, in all of the things, uh, such as whenever this is broadcast, I will shout it out there. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to just, I'm just going to keep it simple. You can find me there. I've been the uh, storyteller for this, and Paul, you can find me at Paul Murchison on Twitter or since he's zero GP, most other places on the internet. Uh, you can find me on High Show Collective from time to time because Taylor likes to have hang out with me over there. Um, and you can also find me in Response Team Omnicron, a uh, Lancer actual play podcast. It's like if Red versus Blue had a uh, version. Oh, as I like start dinging. Um, as Red versus Blue uh, had, uh, oh, I see, I'm all screwed up now. One little thing. It's a Battlestar Galactica had its own red versus blue. So it's uh, it's all sorts of crazy fun. And uh, if you like giant robots and uh, all sorts of found family drama, it's a great place for you to be. But we have been Apocrymatic Unlimited, and we'll be seeing you soon for episode two. Bye.